why everyone pointed and laughed. Your grandmother and I went to Tupor for our honeymoon. Did you drive? I asked. Grandad shook his head. Not many people had cars in those days. There were service cars, of course. What's a service car? It's like a bus with doors along each side, no aisle, and they carried the mail. Why were they called service cars? Because of the mail service. Your grandmother wouldn't hear a word about going on them because she got car sick, so we bought a bicycle. Did you give Granny a double? Nope. We bought a tandem. Grandad winked and sang, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy, all for the love of you. Won't be a stylish marriage, can't afford a carriage, but you'll look sweet upon the seat of a bicycle built for two. We had trouble right from the start. I got on the front seat, and your grandmother got on the back seat, and off we went. But everyone along the road was pointing and laughing. Why? I couldn't see, but you know how your grandmother has to be different. She'd got on the tandem backwards. She couldn't get her feet on the pedals, and she'd had nothing to hold on to. So, the first corner we came to, she fell off. She was so angry, she walloped me with her umbrella. I'm not going to sit on the back seat, looking at your behind all day, she told me. I want to sit at the front and steer. So she rode in front. I sat on the back. We both pedaled hard down Great South Road towards Hamilton. Once we got to the top of the Bombay Hills, took my feet off the pedals and we coasted down the other side. Your grandmother didn't notice when she started pedaling again. Notice what? That she was doing all the work. She pedaled the rest of the way to Tupor, while I sat behind with my feet dangling, giving a grunt from time to time. We got to the top of the last hill before Tupor, and your grandmother stopped, too puffed to speak. I gave a groan, wiped my forehead, and lay down beside the tandem. She'd done all the work, but I wasn't going to tell her that. After a spell, she got her breath, and we coasted all the way back down the hill to the camping ground. Did you pedal? Not once. It was just a pity that when we were putting up our tent, some interfering nosy parker told your grandmother they'd driven past us climbing up the hill, and I wasn't pedaling. They said they'd seen us coming through Patarudu as well, and I wasn't pedaling then. Was Granny angry? She chased me round and round the camping ground. But I was fresh. She just pedaled the whole way from Auckland. She wouldn't have caught me if I hadn't tripped over the tent rope. When we headed home, she made me ride in front. If I tried to look to see if she was pedaling, she walloped me with her brolly. Keep your eyes on the road, she told me. I pedaled, kept my eyes on the road all the way back to Auckland. When it rained, your grandmother put up her umbrella and kept dry. And when the sun shone, she'd have put up her umbrella. and She kept the sun off herself. I pedaled through the rain and sweated in the sun. And it's been the story of our life ever since. What happened to your old tandem? Haven't seen it for years. Think your grandmother gave it to the Sallies when they came around collecting. She didn't want to be reminded of the time she pedaled all the way to Topor while I sat on the back with my feet dangling and did nothing.